Overnight, a judge in America has blocked the publication of controversial online documents that would allow people to print their own 3D guns. The blueprints would let anyone produce working weapons, including assault rifles like those used in recent mass shootings. Ross King is in Los Angeles with more on this. Good morning, Ross. I mean, it seems incredible that there would be the capability to do this. President Trump's administration had agreed to these blueprints being published. Now it seems they're facing a backlash. Yeah, this certainly is. Good morning, Charlotte. And this is being talked about as the next major gun threat out here and just exactly how it could affect the safety of Americans. Now, these 3D plastic printers, they cost anywhere from between a few thousand dollars up to over a few million dollars. But it's not so much about the cost. It's about how cheaply then you can get guns and more accessibly into the hands of terrorists, of killers, of hitmen, and that is the real concern here. And they're being referred to as ghost guns, again, just because the simple fact is very hard to detect them. It's absolutely well, shocking, isn't it? It is shocking. I tell you what's more shocking, because this... You, I'm looking at my hand here and you look and you think that's a sort of plastic, you know, freebie giveaway Looks gun. Looks like they come out of a cracker almost, or doesn't a, it? Or a children's comic or something. Mm. But that is what Ross was talking about there. That is um, the manifestation of um, one of those 3D printers we've taken away. Yeah, we've so we got it, in, it comes in bits. We put it together to show you how it will look, but we've left out lots of crucial parts, That obviously. would make it work. But believe me, this could fire, right? Mm. This, this could actually fire Live ammunition uh, from that. And it is absolutely horrifying to think that unregulated, that could be available to anyone. Anyone who had a gripe against... Mm -hmm. Their brother, sister, parents, school teacher. With no checks at all, and it would be completely untraceable. No serial uh, number. Yeah, untraceable. Made from the same plastic as Lego. Innocuous, yeah. lovable toy Lego uh, could be turned into a lethal weapon. But they also, the thing is, I mean, as a child, I would have made guns from Lego. I would have played with guns. I would have had a fascination with guns. But now, if you're a member of the security forces, how do you tell the difference between what is a toy mm. and, and what is real? That is bad, that is evil, something has got to be done about that.